So we need to integrate this function. Ladies and gentlemen, I will go straight to the point. This is the integration of trigonometry functions and there are quite a number of methods. But for this one, you can clearly see that we are having a, an argument of one. So we are going to use magic substitution or T substitution. And what are these? All right. So, well, where you find dt or anything. So dt, of course, I, like I said, we are changing this into t substitution. All right. So where you find dt, you, you, you put two. Sorry, where you find dx. Where you find dx, you put two dt over one plus t squared. And comma, where you find sin x, where you find sin x, you just put 2t over 1 plus t squared. Of course, I'm not going to go through how this come up about because it's quite a journey. Not really that much of a journey, but you, there are some identities that you need to uh, remember under trigonometry. Then you can find yourself here. For course, you, you write this. Okay, for course, you put this. So these are what we need to keep in mind as we are using T substitution or the magic substitution. We move on. So now we are going to substitute these into that. What does this mean? This means in our integral, all right, we are going to say the integral of what we have here. Dx, we are going to put in 2 dt over 1 plus t squared over okay where we have sine x we we, we we know what to put but there's a 4 in front okay so we put 2t okay over 1 plus t squared like that we close the door we have plus we have cos x cos x we are putting uh 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared and we have a plus 5 we have everything sorted out. Now it's just a matter of simplifying this. All right. And uh, all right. So you can see that we are having something very, 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 very interesting, right? Okay. So uh, we can simplify this to, okay. So we have 2 dt over 1 plus t squared over this we can multiply to give us 8 t over 1 plus t squared plus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared plus 5. We are moving right slowly by slowly. Now we can clearly see that we are having a common denominator there. So we can keep that one as the integral of 2 dt over 1 plus t squared over common denominator here alone here you end up having 1 plus let me do this the space is too small you end up having the common denominator alone is 1 plus t squared do you agree that should be the agreement then if we divide this one here into this one we multiply by 8t we were just getting 8t plus and this one into here, we're still getting, so 1 minus t squared. And 5, oh, there's 1 here. So this just multiply 5, which will give us 5 plus 5t squared. Okay. So everything like that. It's quite a journey. Now that we are here, okay? Now that we are here, we can see that... We are having these two. Okay, so what do we do about those? They are going to cancel. Of course, because there's this division. So automatically this one and this one cancels out. So what will remain with? We remain with the integral of 2 dt over um, eight t. Then we have, 
sorry uh, plus 1 minus t squared plus 5 then 5 t squared we move on we have the integral of 2 dt 8t would we have a t somewhere here this one is a square so we keep 8t here okay of course we have plus 1 it will remain the same which will give us 5, 6 here because this and this is 6 then this and this 4 t squared 2 can go up and down so we end up having dt Um, over so just end up remaining with uh, 4 okay instead of doing that we can just fact out half dividing won't give us anything so we fact out half that's when we can remain with dt here over here we have um, So there we have two. Two t squared. Just a minute. Okay, let's do this. I'll take out two here. All right. I'll also take out two here. So that we can have dt on top. And here we have 40 plus 6. Oh, sorry. Plus 3 plus 2t squared now these of course will cancel so we have the integral of dt over 40 plus 3 plus t squared now this is where i want us to come what is down here if you if you well we have another problem the down part is a quadratic that means we can complete the square which, after completing the square, you should be able to get, of course, there, okay? We divide throughout by 2, so we are, we are having half of, all right, which is okay. So if I divide throughout by 2 here, I'm having half here, and I'm having dt, which will give me t squared plus 2t plus 3 over t, exactly. This is a stage at which you've reached. Now, completing the square. What is inside here? We can complete the square. And this will be half integral. After we complete the square, what do we get? dt over. Mm -hmm. Of course, complete the square, we find half of 2t, which should just be like 1, then squaring it. So we end up having t plus 1 squared. Of course, that guy should be subtracted from one from three over two which would be like three over two minus one which will give us what one over two so we can get plus one over two here mm -hmm. now that we are here this is now where everything is like sweet now at this stage we are going to uh embrace this I will, I will just give you like du over u squared plus v squared. This is just the integral of the tan, the inverse of tan, right? If you remember. Now, if we are going to apply this concept, let us apply the same concept to this one. What do we get? Well, we end up having, we have 1 over 2 outside, all right? Then we are going to get what? Uh, remember, we have u squared and v squared. Of course, we end up having the square root of v like v imankara pamwamba okay then timankara na u on uh, u on top v down so that that is the idea there so we have one over remember imankara one over v so we are going to have one over v is the square root of this guy here so that would be one over the root of two then we have tan inverse all right, so on top we have u. Which one is our u? u is t plus 1 actually. 
over v is the square root of what this guy well you can leave it here if you don't know what you are doing but okay because there's a t here we should get back our x all right so we can further simplify this as of course this one just give us root of what 2 over 2 I have turn inverse okay what do we mean here also we have root of 2 when we reciprocate it we get a root of 2 multiplying t plus 1 now we need t we said from the way to go um t just equal to tan x over 2 of course this is just a t substitution this is where everything came from from the way to go if you didn't uh, if you can't recall this, please visit your trigonometry question, or oh, sorry, notes, or trig integration. Visit those uh, identities, how we came up with this. Now we can now substitute where this t, we put tan x over 2. Alright, so we have root of 2 over 2, we have tan inverse. We have root of 2 multiplying, so t we have tan x over 2 then you have plus 1 there then plus c this is the final answer